Hi everyone, this is Skylar from SkyXL, and I will be showing you how to highlight a cell or row based on if a checkbox is selected. For this tutorial, we will be working in the Developer tab. If this tab isn't displayed, all you need to do is select File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and make sure the Developer checkbox is selected, and click OK. The first thing we need to do is insert our checkboxes. So under the Developer tab, select Insert, and then click the checkbox form control. Now click and drag to create the checkbox and delete the caption inside. Resize the checkbox and move it to the center of the cell. Then drag the fill handle down to the rest of the list to quickly fill the other cells with the checkboxes. Now we have to link each checkbox to their own individual cells. There's two ways to do this. I will show you both and then you can decide which one you prefer. The first option is to right click the checkbox, select Format Control, click inside the cell link bar, and then select the cell you want your checkbox to be linked to. In this case, we will select B4, then click OK. The second method is to right click the checkbox, click inside the formula bar, and type equal sign, and then select B5 as the link cell. Repeat the process you prefer for the last checkbox. Now it's time to format the cell's colors once a checkbox is selected. I'm going to make these cells red to signify that these tasks are not completed and have them change to green once they're completed. I'm going to select the first cell in the to-do list, then under the Home tab, select Conditional Formatting and click New Rule. Then select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Click inside the formula bar and select the cell B4, then type equals true. After that, click the Format button, and under the Fill tab, select a green color and press OK. As you can see, if we select the first checkbox, it works as expected, but the others don't yet because we haven't applied the new rule that we have created down the whole list yet. So select Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules. You can use this drop down to show all formatting rules for this worksheet. Click inside the Applies to Formula bar, and then click and drag down our list to select the cells that we want this rule applied to. Then click OK. Now if we select the first checkbox, all the cells change to green. I purposely put this error in this tutorial because it's a very common mistake that users make and I want to show you how to properly fix it. Select Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, double click the rule that we have created, and then delete the dollar sign right before the 4 and click OK. So instead of B4 being an absolute reference, now it's a relative reference, meaning that when this rule is being applied down the list, the 4 will change to a 5, then a 6, and so on. Now if we select the checkboxes, the correct individual cells will change color. If you want to extend this format to the rest of the columns in the list, all you have to do is select Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, and change the range you want this rule applied to. Click OK. Now the whole row in our list will change to the color green once we select a checkbox. And finally, I like to hide this column just for visual purposes. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.